next guest tonight is an Emmy Award winner who has starred in everything from Austin Powers and Buffy the Vampire Slayer to Family Guy and Robot Chicken. Please welcome Seth Green. Tell me. To meet you. Yeah! <laughs> I'm in such a good mood. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Happy to have you here. I don't, I don't think we've met before. I was trying to figure that out too, because I've been such a fan of yours for so long. And but vice I, versa, I'm a big robot chicken fan. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, I've never gotten to do this show, and I, 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 I just you, didn't think we'd actually met. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. We well, might have people, matched on some dating app at some could've, point. Could've, but I think I just kept swiping. Could be. Could yeah. be. I'm always open. No. <laughs> People know you from a lot of things. Austin Powers, uh, Buffy, Entourage. Uh, but, of course, I was saying, I, I know you from Robot Chicken. That's so fun. Yeah. I, 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 for the people who don't know, explain to them the concept of Robot Chicken. I mean, it's f fairly <laughs> self-evident, Robot sure. Chicken. Yeah. Um, What's not to understand? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's all in the title. Yeah. <laughs> um, the show is actually uh, uh, an animated sketch comedy show that uh, lampoons pop culture and current events. Mm -hmm. um, and we use things that are toys or things that look like toys as all the performers. And how many seasons now? Uh, we're in our 10th season. Yeah. And 10th we'll... season. Uh, I don't know. Three Emmys. Yeah. Three damn Emmys. Congratulations. Yeah. It seems so odd to get awards for that. I, I've always likened it to doing a play in your parents' basement and winning a Tony for it. <laughs> Does it feel like you guys are just like putting out a college newspaper or something? I guess so. we're, I mean, we're only aware of the audience when we go to events like Comic-Con and have a room of a couple thousand people that are intimately familiar with, you know, the minutia of the episodes. But we make the show in such a vacuum that it, it really just becomes what makes us laugh, what we find entertaining. That's why it's good. Yeah. No, yeah, we have a clip here, I understand, okay. of, of this. You, I heard, if you don't know, then I don't know any more than you do. <laughs> That it's from this season that hasn't been oh, released yet. I think this is um, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, addressing the problem of plastic straws in the ocean. Jim? Plastic straws are harmful to turtles! <laughs> Dude, we gotta outlaw these straws. Actually, Mikey, straws make up only a tiny fraction of plastic in the ocean. The key is to reduce all plastic waste if we're gonna... Ah, you just got straw dog. <laughs> it's a cautionary tale. Yeah. It's a it cautionary is. tale. Makes you think. Yeah. We're, we're educating people about the planet. Sure. <laughs> you have a new movie. I do. You have a new movie. It is the first one you, you've directed yourself, right? Yeah, this is the first long-form narrative live-action feature I've directed. Okay, and it's called Changeland? It is. What happens? Um, it is the story of a guy, me, who um, prepaid a second honeymoon for a marriage he, doesn't, he didn't know was failing, and um, on the eve of surprising his wife, discovers she's been having a lengthy affair, and instead of confronting her, scoops his old best friend and takes this trip that was intended for honeymooners to figure out what to do. Where do you go? We go to Thailand. Um, oh. And the whole thing was based on a trip I took with my actual friend Dan, where we went to all these incredible exotic locations and met all these fantastic characters. And I, I just, while it was happening, it was so cinematic and beautiful and such a fun experience. I thought, this is a movie in here. So I, I spent the next several years writing it. And then I gathered a bunch of awesome people together to make it. Yeah, Macaulay Culkin is in your film. Yeah. What, uh, is he an old friend of yours? Yeah, we got to make a movie together in the early 2000s called Party Monster, which was uh, a true story about New York nightlife. Almost somebody saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Almost somebody saw it. Somebody Yay! was like, that sounds I familiar. Wait, I think, I think I'm thinking Richie Rich. It was... Uh... <laughs> um, but Mac is one of those people. He's um, a terrific person. We, we, we found a lot in common because we had a, a sort of similarity of experience, even though we had different circumstances. Child star. I, I sort of, I was never as, uh, you know, catastrophically famous as he was at a young age. Yeah. And I was never really associated with a specific project until I was in my 20s. But we both felt like some young kid had worked all their life to 
uh, help us inherit some money. Like, the, you know what I mean? It was like we both were kids who worked and earned a living, and then oh, I see. that part of your life is almost at such a distance now that you're an adult. And you're like real happy that that kid worked so hard so that you, <laughs> so you can take it a little bit easier now. Well, thanks so much for being here. Thanks, so nice to meet you. Changeland is in theaters and on demand tomorrow. Seth Green, everybody. We'll be right back.